Right. Hibernus Mortis is a uh, Florida-based death metal band who, uh, I guess, they they sort of started out in the mid-90s. They sounded like a mid-90s uh, death metal band when they started out. A little bit of, uh, like, malevolent creation, some incantation, and uh, just a traditional death metal band for the most part. And they worked up towards a, uh, a full length in 2002, which was... Um, it wasn't bad at all. It was kind of kind of typical for the time. Like uh, imagine uh, bands like Divine Empire, uh, where there's a little bit of a kind of a mosh element to it. The inst- uh, instead of just having death doom metal parts like you would in Incantation, uh, exp- you know that first record you could expect mosh riffs. So let's put it that way, um, and not out of character for that period of death metal uh, in United States tradition and all that. Um, but they they carried on for a few more years. Uh, never really took off outside of where we're out of Florida, and um, kind of went on hiatus until more recently. So this is a kind of the, the typical comeback album, which is sort of revisionist of the original idea that they had, and a little bit more, uh, let's say, tasteful, and uh, in line with modern death metal sounds. But it still is always going to be relevant sticking with sort of the incantation grave uh heavier spectrum of things um what came to mind when listening to this record was uh probably the original intent of disma uh drawn and quartered and that sort of uh next step beyond the immolation the incantation and not really the the sort of cavern core variant of that so what we get is a pretty straightforward record and you know, not all the riffs land for me. I think that's pretty typical for any uh, modern sort of retro-minded death metal band coming back after many years. Uh, the progressions aren't... Uh, they just sort of, Everything is built up off of a simple progression, but that simple progression isn't always exceptional or interesting. So not all the riffs hit for me on this record. Uh, you know, like Ascending the Catacombs was like my one sort of example there. But overall, uh, the the feeling of the record, the death doom elements that come in, uh, they sort of leaned back into the incantation esque sound a little bit more. But they still have their own sound um, with I think different guitarists this time around. So there are uh, there's a lot more uh, care given to the pacing of their style. Uh, some of it does lean into sort of the riff salad that is that tradition of United States heavy death metal. Um, but overall, a pretty solid record just for death metal fans. And, uh, I gave it a moderately high recommendation because I think it really is for the diehard, you know, like you, you, you bought, you, you buy every like father befouled record and that kind of thing. And this is like very much that kind of thing. It's well thought out. It's professional. It's well played, but it's a genre release and I'm all for it because I'm that much of a fan of death metal. So don't expect an outlier here, but just a a solid band with its own kind of bringing back their personality, but rethinking the way they do it this time around. So pretty solid record. I thought it was worth mentioning. There you go.